Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you about lockout tagout procedure using interactive application in virtual reality Oculus Quest 2. Let's get started. This is lockout tagout procedure simulation. In this application, we will learn how to run procedure of lockout tagout properly. Next, we will face a job of aligning idlers on a conveyor belt. We can understand what would be happen if lockout tagout were not properly applied. There are some options, configure the play area, and language. This application has two languages, English, and Spanish. This is practice zone, in this table, there are some loto equipment, starting from lockbox, tag out tag, loto clamp or hasp, padlock, and the padlock's key. And also wrench for fastening or loosening the bolt. Procedure lockout tag out, starting from clamping the lock box, using loto hasp, then put padlock in loto hasp, and then put the loto tag. Okay, after understand the practice of loto procedure, next start the simulation. Take the VR headset. I'm ready here. We need you to raise the protection. Unbolt the idler and we move it. It's the P-134. Okay, now hold it with both hands and push. We have to move it three centimeters. Watch out! Someone started the belt! Hey, are you alright? The accident you just experienced was the product of not having applied lockout tagout policies. Now you will be in charge of supervising the belt alignment work. Now we are going to see what this same procedure would be like, but in a safe way. Hey guys, good morning. I'm going to lock out the power to the conveyor so you guys can do your job. Come to see. Here's the switch of belt number four. I disconnected it so the belt is without power. Now I'm going to check that the energy is zero. Done. Everything is fine. I put my padlock on the card. Done. Excuse me. Now I place the key in the lockbox. Okay, now place the clamp in the lockbox along with its padlock and then everyone else put your padlocks. Go ahead. Excuse me, my turn. Let me check. Now your three padlocks are well placed. Okay, now the belt is completely de-energized and locked. This way you can safely work on it.
Perfect. It's the Energized. Now we can go do the alignments. No, wait. Remember that the person in charge must operate the pull cord. But why activate it if the electrical room is already blocked? We have nothing to lose, and thus we are safer. Okay, now, we're going to line the idlers. I'm ready here. We need you to raise the protection. Unbolt the idler, and we move it. It's the P-134. Okay, now hold it with both hands and push. We have to move it three centimeters. That's about it. It is perfect. Let's fix it and put up the ward so we can go. It's ready. Let's go back to the electrical room. Hey, and Andrew? Until he arrives, we cannot remove the blockade. I hope that nothing has happened to Andrew or that he has forgotten to come, since it would be a big problem to remove his padlock. You'd have to go bother the project manager himself, if he had the time, to get us to release it. Then the padlock would have to be cut with all of us present, and then an incident report filed. This is not a minor issue, and it's the same if any of us lose their key, so take good care of it. Good, you made it. All right, guys, please remove your padlock from the lockbox. This way, I'll have access to the key and lift the blockade. Excuse me, could you move backwards? Excuse me, my turn. Now that the blockade has been lifted, the belt is energized again so they can run their tests.